So if you go to InfiOM uh, page, you see that they have, if you click on this menu, you see that they have about five templates. They have deprecated three of them. For instance, FlatLab, as you can see, FlatLab templates are deprecated. But there are two templates that are currently on Core UI and Admin LTE. The one we are using is currently Admin LTE. So what does this mean? They basically went and found out a template that was designed with uh, by someone, an admin template. Then they in, infused it into InfiOEM. So that is what we're currently seeing here on our site. Can't even remember where it is. Yeah, that's uh, the admin template. I will show you shortly. Okay, this is admin template. This whole green thing, this whole, is it blue? This whole blue thing, this whole black thing, the way it works, this is admin template, admin LTE. So let's go to the original site of admin LTE to see what other things they have. So if you go to admin LTE.io, admin LTE.io, you will see this. If you look at this, you see that it looks almost identical to what we have, which is uh, which means that this is where they got it from. There are some other flavors of it. As you can see, you can buy other colors of it for $49, $49. You see, admin UI dashboard template, uh, architecture UI with view.js admin, you see. Dashboard, 500 purchases. Okay, good. So if you scroll down, you see a whole lot of features that this template has, but we're using the free version. So for the free version, let's just live preview it. Click on live preview. So this looks very much like what we currently have compared to what we have here, you see. So this is what a full functioning admin LTE template looks like, you see. So many widgets that we can add, so many. So many widgets. So now we don't have to worry about CSS design, we just need to come here and hijack whatever we want. So if you click on another dashboard, this is dashboard 1, without reviewing, this is dashboard 2. Okay, so this is another design for the dashboard with all these uh, boxes, to-do list. So this is basically HTML showing you sample of things you can use inside your admin uh, LTE dashboard. Now look at, um, it has charts. You see, beautiful. Now, a whole lot of things that it has, you can just take your time, make sure that um, you go through everything to understand all that, all that it has. Look at um, invoice, uh, profile, login. Look at them, a sample table, invoice table, look at this. Beautiful. Has login page. You see, this is the kind of log login page we have. So admin LTE is very, very powerful, very powerful. So just know that this is where they got that design from and you can always copy more designs here. All right, so um, as you can see, there are a lot of things we can uh, learn from this, or at least copy from this. But the first thing I want to copy is these labels because I want to use it in, uh, so I'll click, right click. I hope you saw what I did. I right clicked and inspected, I clicked on inspect element and here we can see that so I'm just gonna right click again and click on editors HTML and uh, now I have the label so I can copy it, copy come to my code in the menu Remember menu.blade, that is, it's, it's inside uh, resources, views, menu.blade. So what's going down in menu.blade, um, I'm just going to put it here uh, on the admin session. On the admin, so that um, admin will know the links that are specific to admin, you see. Admin. Instead of labdos, I'll call it admin. If I reload, keep your eye here. 
okay it's not gonna show for now it's not gonna show but if i want to make myself an admin i will just come to php my admin hit go then i go to users table click on browse on browse i'll go and change the role look at the role is by default for i uh, uh for role id so if i change it to one that will automatically make me um an admin so if i come back here and refresh this page keep your eye here you see new links appear here and as you can see it's admin now why did this work because if you come to the code it says if my role id is less than three then display this that means i am an admin which is what we just did here we just changed to manually change the role id okay so this is cool um in the next video we can go ahead and build some uh cool stuff